Huh. This actually could be kind of worth it. And I do have plenty of chromatic iron because I can just do this and then go ahead and grab all this and go down here. Go ahead and accept this. Uh, nope. Item submission. Accept this. This better be worth it. And boom. Complete it and claim reward. And hopefully this is actually going to be decently good. I mean, I don't really care much about the jewel, but the sword is the primary thing that I'm really after here of course also the little diamonds uh, and, and other stuff still but maybe the sword is good Ooh, so it is good hold up so it is good uh 14 19 so that is still not as powerful but it might be better it might be better it also has an empty suffix this could be re-rolled for some pretty decent stuff oh oh hello um yeah that that's that i think i think that's better 14 plus 25 so that is 35 39 9.5 this is 39 oh, oh yeah this is, this is already better so now i just uh do this increase actually i'm not mad about that i'm i'm pretty happy with that what do these do can be used to modify vault gear reforge all implicits which are those definitely don't want to do that can be used to modify vault gear reforge the tier of a random modifier nah i'm not gonna do that i think this is a pretty cool model and it's going to be a pretty cool replacement for my sword i have been needing one for a while now that i could do a little bit more damage and i'm pretty happy with how that turned out looting and on breaking three let's go but before i get too ahead of myself ladies and gentlemen welcome back to vault hunters in the last episode a lot of things happened we got that thing right there which is really cool which we will benefit from in a moment i already have a crystal in here ready to go level 52 unmodified and in the last episode we also went ahead and we crafted a blank key and i have gone ahead and turned this blank key into a gorgonite key because why why not? Uh, it's the class I chose. And we're going to enter this vault now because today I just want to gather a bunch of resources essentially. I have enough for two knowledge cores in here and I also already have uh, two knowledge cores in here which means, hold on, just want to make sure that I'm actually, oh no wait, hold on, that is not correct. I have enough for two knowledge stars right now. <laughs> two knowledge stars and basically what we need to do is just run a bunch of vaults and gather resources hopefully get more key pieces and more inscription pieces and inscriptions if possible and stuff like that speaking of which in a couple of episodes ago we made seal of the architect and we made this inscription and two empty ones right here however i don't think i'm actually going to go ahead and make anything with the inscriptions or these catalysts just yet because iscal and the vault hunters team is currently in the works of revamping that entire process and i can't to want to wait with it until they are done with that so without any further ado let's go ahead and run a vault what do you say i think it's good now this relic is it going to add 30 seconds or one minute i don't remember this we're going to find out 30 seconds there we go and it's a scavenger one i might try and complete this because that's ores that's coins gilded i mean we'll try we'll see what happens if it, if it happens, it happens. And I need to remember to keep an eye out for uh, Gorgonite doors because that is a possibility now. If we can open that, that would be pretty epic. But without any further ado, uh, let's go ahead and begin. I mean, maybe we can even get another relic today because we are very close at getting more relics. So that's just what I want to do today. Run a ton of vaults and see what happens, basically. And also try out this new sword. Hopefully it's going to be good. Also, I have not played for absolute ages, so I'm going to be absolutely be horrific at this oh i didn't bring my scavenger thing that was a mistake oops uh <laughs> i even thought about it earlier well uh that's what happens sometimes uh is this this can't be is that treasure dust or whatever it's called please may enable magnet is that what i think it is or is it uh, nope okay my hopes has uh died away a little bit <laughs> all right let's see if we can get anything from this a three crack script that is not what we're looking for though Ooh, living hello gladly what kind of challenge is this kill dungeon mobs five we have 12 minutes to complete it uh i think we can probably pull that off and javelin <laughs> i love this thing okay that's one blood vial 
Ooh, dungeon normal. That's doable, finally. And that means we can actually potentially complete this challenge if it's not difficult. And it's one with coins, actually. And that is the blood vials done with, actually. That's kind of cool. And I will grab this because... Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, 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 okay. Actually, this is not too bad. Uh, this could be a lot worse. You know what? This could be a lot... This could be a lot... It could be a lot worse. Yeah, you know what? This is actually not too bad. This is not too bad. Just need one more. And I... Honestly, I do need the coins, so this could be worth it. Ooh, there we go. Carefully planning a strategy may lead you. One favor. Oh, hello. Okay. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. Actually, that's actually very much fine. All things considered. Also gotta remember my poison nova thing, because I completely always forget about that. I feel like I can, get I can actually tank quite a few hits. Am I slowly building a tank build? I am. Am I a tank character? <laughs> I, f I feel like I might be. Okay, this has to be the final room. Oh, okay. This is definitely the champion. Uh, no reason for alarm. Just need to work my way towards the stairs very slowly. And okay, nice. Gotcha. Unidentified vault boots. Oh, man. Kind of wanted better than that. Is there a... Oh, that's one of those things. Beautiful. And this time, I'll know not just to click it, because the one you click is the one you get. I learned that the hard way last time. So let's see. Right click this. Summons a level 4. Wrath... Uh, gain immortality for six seconds sounds like a cool thing uh actually that sounds like a very op thing i'll take it Ooh, village room okay this could be good if there is a yep dungeon stronghold thing and what type is it is it going to be actually useful or is it going to be something that i don't need gilded perfect gilded is literally what i needed and i am definitely not going to be able to find my way out of here <laughs> i know that for sure <laughs> okay hello that's a a lot of silver fish in here. I don't like it. There's also creepers and a bunch of other stuff. Not ideal. And I already have no idea where I came from. This is a dead end. Okay. If I die in a stronghold, I'm going to be so, so mad. I, don't th I actually don't think I can be in here because the silver fish are making life very much difficult for me. This is where I came from. Oh man. But I want all this loot. It's really, really good loot. It would be stupid not to at least loot some of it. There we go. Got all of that. Very cool. Ooh, actually, I have one one goblet in there. I don't think I'm going to leave until I actually have both goblets, to be completely honest with you. There we go. Got the goblet. Uh, I'm just gonna get the rest of the stuff in this room, if possible, without dying. Come on. Yep, yep. This is good. This is good. Heal up. Get the final chest down here, and then yep, I'm happy to get out of here now. <laughs> and block this off forever. Good. What's next? I think I'm actually primarily missing the ores for the wishbones. So if I can find an ore room primarily, that wouldn't be half bad or a bunch of ore POIs. And bingo. Take a look at this. Whether or not we're going to be able to find that amount of wishbone <laughs> is an entirely different matter. Ooh, another diff another dungeon. What type of that? More coins. I really can't be bothered. Nope, sorry. Okay, of all POIs, this the, uh, all room this one kind of stinky i can gonna lie like like it's just not there <laughs> not even here we got anything it's a scam i've been scammed what i need though is a crystal room okay found another all py this one got a skeleton wishbone that's one whether or not we'll get all six of them remains to be seen and that's the second wishbone and third wishbone fourth wishbone i'm gonna take this real quick loot or nature chests i doubt that's gonna happen anytime soon line up and that's so satisfying that's the fifth wishbone and sixth we can actually complete the vault now so now i just need to actually locate one of those return thingies uh before it's too late and there's a lot of force here actually not gonna lie i am not going to complete that's the seventh wishbone <laughs> So we've completed the objective, done a dungeon, and now we found this next door, which I'm probably gonna re use the rest of my time on if I can find the return pad and I can survive this ambush that is so dear me. Right. If I die now, that will be so disappointing. Aha, there's a return thing here. So if I just do this, now the compass is going to lead to this room. I'm just gonna go ahead and have all the stuff that I need. Uh, I know I have more ripped pages than that. I am almost 
almost certain I have more ripped pages than that. If not, I am not in a good position. Uh, wet wishbone. Yep, there we go. I'm sure I have more ripped pages than that, don't I? I guess I don't. I have three minutes to finish getting ripped pages. I thought I had plenty. It's another one. Okay. Yep, there we go. That's two. Okay. I have never not cared about any of the other loot boxes ever this much. Two factory rooms right next to each other? Are you kidding me? Uh, I thought I had the... Uh... Oh, no. I... Oh, I might be screwed here, ladies and gentlemen, because I just swapped the compass location, so I don't know where my port room is. I could die here. Unless I get all the ripped pages, which so far I have three of them. And I'm just gonna hope that I can severely get a lot. Wait, I've been here. Huh? Please have all the ripped pages. That's one. That's four in total. I don't think I'm gonna make it with this, unfortunately. I will have to take out the Kiwis, though. I will have to take out the Kiwis because, uh, yeah, I don't know where my portal is. I'll have to start searching. I will take these first, though. I uh, something just broke. Some armor just broke. That's not good. And, okay, yeah. Uh, my only hope is I can go back to that room that I know that I've been into and then find my way back to my portal from there. Whichever sure direction that may be. I'm not sure how to see it other than that I've actually taken that, so I'm pretty sure it's in this direction. <laughs> oh, I could die here. I messed up bad. Oh, this is a village room. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. It's in this direction. Oh, dear me. Yep, I know it's in this direction because I just saw another pile, but I actually don't think I can do this. I think I'm dead. That's the final one I can eat. <gasps> Wait, I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Oh, that is the closest encounter ever. That is the closest encounter I've ever had in Vault Hunters this version. Oh dear me, that was way, way too close for comfort. Oh dear me. Okay, right, that, uh, that's gonna require a nap. I really thought I would be that I, that I actually had that scavenge run. I thought I had gotten, in my head, I had gotten all the ripped pages, which uh, clearly I just hadn't. So we got 15 relic booster packs, 28 knowledge chests, not bad. And we got one key piece and a bunch of jewels, which is absolutely amazing. So that is brilliant. I'm going to open these now. Hopefully we actually get something Good, we get one. I believe I recognize both of those though, unfortunately. That'll be at the bottom there. Let's go ahead and take a look. So this is part of the Mystic GM set. Yep, we have three of those. And this is the Warrior's Charm, which is also one that I have. Right. Also, next time, I'm not leaving without this pouch. Got some decently sized jewels, actually. Some not good enough boots to keep. All right, with these legs repaired, I believe that I am ready for vault number two. Or before we begin, just check this once again. Nothing really of interest there. Over here, I believe that I do want to complete this because it's actually fairly cheap to do. Nine sweet kiwis is an okay price, I think. Actually, I can't do that. There we go. Right click it, got right click it, and claim reward. And considering we have seven of these, I'm gonna take like, I think three with me and one of these as well, because this adds a whole minute, this adds 30 seconds, and this adds a bunch of time as well. So maybe just actually let's bring a stack. And real quick before we run through, our current inventory would take 71 gold to buy back. But with this here and uh, this place down, it would now be 79. Okay, that's a, that's a decent price. That's a decent price. I really can't be bothered to empty my inventory again. So let us just head on through, though I will activate this as well. So we have two bounties activated. Oh dear, another scavenger. <laughs> At least this time I actually have this out here, but uh, that uh, that looks like a tough one. I guess we'll see how it goes. Let's go. Ooh, champion. Hello, you pack a punch. You definitely pack a big punch. Come on, let's get you out of here. Please don't stop walking. There we go. Nice. Ooh, a, a rare plus magnet. And what is this? Grants three speed for five minutes. Ooh, yeah, I'll take that. Ooh, hello. We got a door here. However, I'm pretty positive that the key that I have is not actually going to fit in that particular door, but I mean, it might be worth a shot, but I do have Gorgia Knight. Yep, yeah, nope, that is probably the M Ampium. I, I don't remember what it's called, but it, it, they do appear. I just could I have the right key on me when we find it. <laughs> I'm actually getting quite a few old books, if I'm being completely honest. Like we have, no, hold on. That's because I moved it up there. Very bad. Uh, move this, put here. There we go. Nice. Yeah, we have one third of the old books that we need, which I think is considered. It's not a bad speed. 
All right, what is this gonna be? Kill Dweller Mobs. I mean, I already need to do that, so... Had I gotten that a little bit earlier, it would have been better, but I'm sure we can still pull it off. Okay, I'm not sure. I'm thinking it's possible. Ooh, nice little hidden chamber here. We are actually slowly getting all the stuff that we need, just from me just looting normally, which is nice. Dungeon located... Nope. You know, so far, I have found 18 Mob Dwellers, but by the time I took the challenge, or since I took the challenge, rather I have only found three that's just typical yeah I'm pretty positive that this world is gonna get cursed in a moment and we'll get a curse in three two one let's see what it is hopefully it's nothing bad as the clock ticks so do your choices shape your destiny added one soul as mobs in the vault do not drop soul shards oh okay uh I'm not complaining about that one I mean it's a bit unfortunate but that I feel could have been a lot worse. So actually, I'm pretty happy with that whole thing's considered. So far, it's actually been a really, really profitable vault, I think, anyway. I don't know if I can actually complete the uh, the challenge here. I think I am missing primarily ores, but if I can complete it? I mean, I have 10 minutes remaining. That would be pretty cool. In fact, let's see. I'm missing one old book. We have the black mob essence. We have the drown hide. All I'm missing, actually, are two skulls and bone shots. So they're maybe not that difficult to obtain. Okay, let's see if we get any old book from this. Nope, ripped pages though. <laughs> Plenty of those. Yeah, still need, still missing one uh, old book. I could take this. Oh, 32 Dweller Mobs this time. Okay, like that's gonna happen. Well, good thing is the, um, the curse is not going to appear until after we're out of this vault. If all goes according to plan in the way and I don't extend it by a minute. <laughs> And there we go, an old book acquired. So now it's really just a uh, skeleton bone charts. You have killed 500 mobs in this vault. Has discovered red cantana transmog. Wow. Um. Yeah, that's that's actually a. I didn't realize. Wow. Uh, uh, that is actually quite a lot. <laughs> wow. I wonder how many chests I have then looted because if I've killed a lot of mobs, that means, or it must mean, I think anyway, that I have looted a lot of chests. Hopefully that's the meaning anyway. Let's go ahead and submit all the stuff that we have gotten. So it's just the stuff that we don't have that needs submitting. And bounty complete as well, which will look at that. There we go. Only two skulls and bone shards remaining. Let's go. So I think now that I am definitely 100% sure that I don't need anything else, I think it's wise for me to just primarily look for an ore room so I can actually get... Oh, hello. Speaking of. So I can actually get those and secure this uh, scavenger hunt. Friends, one regeneration for two minutes. I will gladly take that. I believe that this could potentially be an ore room. Hopefully, I'm going to get what I desire. Please, could you could you not? I hate baby zombies, and this baby zombie is a chunky one, and I definitely hate the chunky ones. That's one skeleton bone shard, and hopefully we're gonna get another one right about now. Ahaha, <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> That was actually perfect. I can now get out of this vault whenever I wish. And so I have a little bit of time left, so I might as well plop this down here and then run off and loot a couple more rooms, probably one or two, and then come back here. All I need to do is supply this to the table thingy and then I'll be teleported back home. Oh, you have to be kidding me. This is an X mark room, I believe. Nope, nope. This is a treasure cove. Ooh, that's a lot of coins here. I mean, I do, I do want coins. Coins, but I ooh, yeah this is I, I actually think this is the first time I've actually found this which is kind of cool um okay I think I'm just gonna take some of the coins I do have to start heading back because it's two rooms back which is unfortunate but I'm hoping that I can gather this uh, gunpowder at the very least all right yeah th this was a cool find though this was a cool find I'll take a screenshot of that maybe something like that there we go yep all right let's go uh that is unfortunate there we go go okay phew that that was a bit too close for comfort and there we go found another one that was closer and vault completed let's go not bad at all actually this time and look at that 50,000 vault xp 
113 chests looted and 251 mobs unalived. Why did it then say in the chat, I'm not complaining, but why did it say you have killed 500 mobs this vault? That's interesting. Anyway, we got the scavenger crate, which is awesome, and a bunch of other loot. And as always, I think it's time for a nap. And as always, let's take a look at what we got first. A bunch of jewels, actually not too bad. The mining speed copiously is nice. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. What I'm mostly interested in, though, is this gear and its potential. I mean, this has high armor, but it does not have enough prefixes nor enough suffixes to actually replace my current leggings. These are rare. Nope, scrappy, sorry. Uh, still better, but again, ooh, the mana regen, though. Ooh, I'm really, really tempted, tempted to use the mana regen. If I can get, ooh, but this is going to uh, reforge all prefixes and suffixes. Can I something with only a, no. Okay, well, in that case, I'm not gonna take them. I wanted to only reroll the suffix, but oh well. I'm sure there's a way, but I'm, I'm just gonna not gonna do that right now. And this magnet is, that's a lot to look at but that is a little bit less in the range so i'm not gonna use that either Ooh, hold up we actually got an inscription for the wild west room that is actually not too bad all things considered because that's gilded chests and if we combine that with a ton of catalysts uh for what's it called the gilded ones here that would actually be pretty beneficial there would be a lot of mobs to go through but we could actually do that but again i'm waiting with the inscriptions because they're currently working on changing stuff and I don't have enough inscri blank inscriptions anyway to like fill it out so yeah it's, it's gonna have to wait unfortunately and in the red chest we have 80 more knowledge chests, four relic booster packs and a bunch of jewels and other cool stuff as well I re I, I need to hold on I need to connect those so that the actual wait do we not have what are these called trims I think trims yes we have trims so I can actually connect up here with a trim Boom. So now Kiwis can automatically go up there and magnet off and let's see if we get something. Nope, we did not, unfortunately. Can, however, extract all of this and put it all into here. Granted, there's enough inventory space. Nice. And this is now halfway done because we got that Wild West room and we got this completed as well. This is awesome. Whoa, seven inscription pieces from that one vault. That's... Uh, I'm happy with that. Craft a blank inscription. That's actually very high completion and time. I am very happy and pleased with that one. So that can be added to the collection. We have one in 2% and one in 4%. Not great. This one, pretty decent actually. All right, let us go ahead and open the bounty one first because that is cool and everything gets added to the sets. That's brilliant. That, that's great. Uh, what's that jewel? Finding speed and trap this out chance. Okay, I'll take it. 128 chromatic iron, not bad. Now for the most exciting stuff is this one. And I think I saw an unopened and unidentified relic over there, which is really cool. So let's grab all of this stuff. Ooh, let's go. Four volt platinum, that's 36 volt gold. That is huge. Like boom, we're definitely getting more gold now or starting to collect it anyway. Epic plus boots, a bunch of actually decent armor. Eternal souls, which I'm pretty sure has a collection in there. And you guys really should not be in there either. And again, some jewels, some decent, some... Eh. I need a better jewel storage solution. It always gets too full. Either that or I'm I'm saving more than, I'm, than I actually should. All right, let's take a look at the shields. They have to actually be better than the one I already have. This is common. The one I have is epic, not that great. This is rare. Thorns damage is cool. And block chance and empty prefix. We might actually try and roll that and see what happens. This has more health. That's decent as well. But again, common and not that great. I want stuff with a lot of prefixes and suffixes, essentially. Ooh, what about the suffix then? Knockback resist. That could be useful. Because that's very high thorns damage. The one I have is resistance, thorns damage, 20% block chance durability and knockback resist but this does have health and i do like my health so i think i'm going to try that and if i don't like it i'll switch back i'll 
I'll save the old one in here for now. Uh, rare boots, better in the armor, and the prefixes are actually better as well, plus higher mana regen. I think that's actually an instant swap. These are level 52, these, these old ones are level 50. I think I'll swap them over, unless I can find something even better. I mean, this is 16, but this does not have an X prefix slot for health, so bye-bye. Oh, oh, scrap, scrap, scrap these. I need, I need to work on these. Okay, so be gone with those old ones. This is huge because it has 16 armor in the in the implicits. I just need to work on the prefixes to have armor and health. I mean, that's health and armor and me mana regen and healing efficiency. It's not much, but that is 20 armor and trap disarm chance. You know what? That's my new boots. These ones, they've served us well, but unfortunately, they have to go as well. Bye bye. It, it, it's been great. It's been good. <laughs> it's been good. I do need to, however, uh, I, I need more emeralds. How am I going to get more emeralds? I need to start trading with villagers again. That's not how you do that. There we go. Definitely feather falling and then unbreaking to preserve them as much as possible. Boom. Very happy with that. And finally, this, I think actually we don't have that already. I'm pretty sure we don't have this one. We do not. It's part of this set. We have one, two, three potentials where we just need to get one more that is not a duplicate to actually complete these two. If we could get that today, that would be that would be really epic. So, so far we are able to make four knowledge stars. I am thinking if we run one more vault, we should hopefully be good to maybe potentially get four, not, not four, that's literally what I just said, five, six or so, and we can actually start doing some stuff. First of all though, gotta check this weird. I'm not going to, ooh. I'm, I was about to say I'm not going to just waste these, but I do want them the inscriptions. But I think empty inscriptions might be going. I, I don't know. It might be a while before we get to update. Uh, that's actually a pretty horrible inscription. Uh, anyway, let's move on and uh, see if there's anything else we can afford. Not really. Not that we want anyway. We still have these two selected. Very cool. And it's just gonna go into here. I mean, we have 15% here, and then we have 17% there. So I mean, we're getting closer, but we're still quite far off. Well, with actually, hold on. This is probably going to break very quickly so i'm just gonna quickly slap on a repair core onto that just like so and that's that anvil done with <laughs> And new one has been placed. And let's try this shield out. Hopefully it's good. Another scavenger vault. Are you kidding me? We're getting all the scavenger vaults this time. Like, I'm not adding any any seals onto these. I, I promise. <laughs> Ooh, and we're actually going to level up to level 40, not 40, 53 after this one. All right, well, just like the other ones, I'm just going to loot. And what happens, happens. And it is the one with crap. Oh, dear me. Okay, this could be very interesting. And that was a trap one just what i needed if i can maybe i should add more trap disarm actually i don't even have any trap disarm chance on this so if i have do i have any space capacity 54 i might upgrade this when we get home if i remember to do so and what's this gonna be loot or nate chests 12 hmm we'll see if that actually happens or if we're gonna get cursed and bounty has been completed for killing horde mobs which is awesome oh dungeon normal difficulty i might try that on. I believe it is a spider one though. Oh, that's great. That's already spawned in. It is a coin one though, so I don't think it's really gonna be worth it yet. Yeah, you know what? Nope. I have better things I can use my time on. And you know, after using the shield for a while, I actually think I do feel the difference that it doesn't have any block, uh, block chance. Actually, I think because it doesn't have any block chance on it, it actually has 0% block chance. That is how it feels anyway, and I'm used to it blocking, or having a chance of blocking at least. So having that on, it would be ideal, despite it having had more health. I am taking a lot more hits uh, due to it, I think. So I don't know, I might try and work with it, see if I can get it uh, to have some block chance, maybe instead of health, if that's what it takes. Uh, because even though it does do thorns damage, I think I would rather have the, uh, the block chance, to be honest. Oh, we found another one of these. Um, I mean, they're good, they're good, and I do need all the coins that I can 
can actually get my hands on because I like shopping and if I die then I do need a way to actually buy my stuff back so I may use some time in here to get this because I don't actually think I'm going to get the scavenger because we only have three wishbones we have one spider spool but we have no drowned hide and no red scrolls uh which is and, and we have less than half the time left so that's kind of telling me that that's not gonna happen so I think I'm just kind of gonna go ahead and get a bunch of coins because why not I mean that's just 660 volt bronze right there and we have a lot we've gotten a lot more as well 718 uh what we got here oh it's actually counting all of it nice 766 I mean that's that number is just gonna keep going up oh there we go now it reset <laughs> So we definitely have way more than 700 now. And is this here because there's actually... Oh, <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that there's actually something hidden here. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. And uh, there we go. Healing in this vault is very inefficient. Okay, but not impossible. Which, as long as it's not impossible, I'm fine with it. Oh, come on. Wait, where am I actually going? I'm lost. Uh, aha. There we go. Oh, come on. You... Okay, yeah, healing is definitely not very efficient <laughs> i actually do need to keep that in mind though because that's ew, that's not ideal okay thorns is actually kind of nice actually right like right there i didn't actually hit him but he hit me and so he died from it i, I might just keep it. It, it this shield might be fine actually right now pause the video and let me know down below in the comments which shield you think i should use the old one or this one all right another dungeon door a normal one but again i believe it is spider and it is coin so it don't really care about that oh hello take a look at this that would have been nice if i had that key but no i have a different one of course i'm gonna get all the doors that i don't have it would be nice if i actually found one that I actually had or got more key pieces how, how do you get more key pieces gilded chests so basically if i could get a gilded like a wild west inscription that would be kind of cool but i need a lot of empty inscriptions for that to happen time soon oh champion okay this could be very much interesting i would like to go up and not down just because okay yep 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 this is doable this is doable yep there we go nice and we got an unidentified vault shield who knows maybe we'll get a shield that is even better than the one we have now Ooh, what's my current helmet level 40 you know what i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna hope that that was worth the 26 gold that yeah i just spent because uh i mean it it's, it's an it's an omega it's going to be an omega one i i think it's going to be better than what i have now or at least i'll have a chance to actually make it better also this feels like such a steal <laughs> There we go. Nice. All right. Three and a half minutes left. I was kind of hoping to be able to get the final scavenger stuff, which is like two drown hide and more skeleton wishbones. But I just don't think it's going to be realistic. Oh, this is actually the end. So I do need to turn back no matter what. What is this? This is... Oh, oh, adds one minute to the vault timer. And what just happened here? Hello, horde mobs. Okay, that's... that. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Be gone. That's one more wishbone. So I believe I just need two more and a little bit more drowned hide, of which I just got one there. Yeah, two minutes, 40 seconds. I'm going to have to turn back now. I mean, if I see something literally in my path, I'll take it. But other than that, I'm not going to risk it for the biscuit. I need to be able to return home to my portal. I don't have my shulker box with me. Okay, so I don't have any kiwis on me either. Okay, I sincerely hope I can make it. I don't think I can. And where would the kiwis end up in? That would be... I don't have any. I might be dead. I don't know how close I am, but the, this could be it. This could be the this could be the one where I die. 30. Please be just around the corner. Please be the next one. No, come on. I think it's the one beyond that. I don't have any kiwis on me. I'm not going to make it either way. Th this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. I messed up big time. It's... Okay, it's not even close. <laughs> My first vault death, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, 307 mobs on alive, 92 chests looted. I mean, I did level up to level 53, 
That's my ghost. Uh, okay, there we go. Pick you up, place you there. Yeah, that's gonna cost 71 uh, gold coins. That's that's my first death, ladies and gentlemen. That is the first death. And wh where even is my choker box? <gasps> no, no, wait, no, 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 no. Did I, when did I place it? I didn't place it down anywhere. I know for a fact that I didn't place it down anywhere inside the vault because I would have had like zero reason to actually do that i where, where is it oh, hold on no no, no 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 that has my key in it but my shulker box is not in any of this either wait nah 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 where is where is it where, where where's my where's my shulker shulker box is not here where i didn't place it or put it anywhere i did not place it inside the vault i i know i didn't i know for a fact that i didn't but it's not up here either so i must have placed it in the vault are you kidding me that shulker box had all my puzzle pieces, all my, well, not all, but I, it had a stack of kiwis, a bunch of lemons and an orange. Not only that, it had my only key that I just crafted. No, it has to, wait. <gasps> okay, everything's good. <laughs> When did it enter that? Wow. Okay. Uh, panic over. Oh, okay. I mean, if I had, that was my first death in this world, by the way. Um, that, that was that uncool. Uncool. I, I need, I need to lay down for this. Okay. I, I just need to empty some stuff here because that, that had, that had me stressed out. That, <laughs> uh, that, mm, right. See, I, I was right though. I knew, I knew that I hadn't placed it all, placed it inside the vault anywhere i knew it i knew it knew it knew it knew it ah <sighs> okay that was um that was intense a little bit too intense for my liking oh dear me we did however get quite a lot of stuff actually a bunch of jewels and also four very cool looking relic booster packs i will not complain about that this pouch can be emptied another time because i can't be bothered to well i can but the chest is absolutely full i need to actually start running this again I just didn't want to mess up, well, not mess up, but like be so noisy, but I guess it's fine. Okay, magnet off, and are we going to, okay, we, we, we didn't get it. We, we didn't get anything. So we, we're not getting a new relic today. Uh, we did get some more coins, dollar chests, repair cores, and 15 volt ingots, which is pretty cool. Teleport, te tele, there we go. And to be fair, we did get that much gold, so that's nice, I guess. And we can now make in total five knowledge shards, which, uh, funny enough, results in us being able to get refined storage. We could get thermal expansion. We could get, uh, we could save up for another one and get something like create. I'm actually not sure what to go for here because, yeah, it's that that's a lot of possibilities. I could also save up and get something like easy villages. I do need another source of emeralds. Uh, our storage works for now, but it could do it with an upgrade i don't know let me know your thoughts down below in the comments please Ooh, i haven't maxed out javelin yet i'm gonna upgrade that okay level 52 a chest plate rare versus omega definitely more armor i'll have to give it that but it doesn't have the armor and health prefix and i think it's gonna have to do i mean that's nine health compared to mine which is eight we're getting there mine has 17 armor this would have 16 though so currently not better it would have to to get armor and health for it to be viable for me to do it and i i just don't think i can get that get, get to that within a reasonable like amount so worth a gamble but yeah not really that worth it uh we got an omega shield here hold on does it have three implicits though it does have thorns damage and then it has the block chance that i want and it has some health however i would like those to be a little bit higher roll um but that might be asking for too much it also has very good durability lucky hit chance Chance. I might play around. I mean, that's better. Ooh, I like this. Plus 11% block chance. It still has thorns for when I do get hit. And it has the plus four health. And then we have one empty suffix. Slowness two cloud when hit. I'm actually gonna take that over this one, I think. I think this is going to be an upgrade. And I mean, it looks sick. Look at that. It looks cool. I like it. This one can go... Bye-bye. Yeah, I did it. All right. This one, Omega. 15 armor. So that's an upgrade. More ability power. I don't use that though. Uh, 
uh, extra mana. Okay, so that can, that can be worked on. This I can work with. That's pretty good. Healing efficiency, cooldown reduction, increased attack damage, which is good. We have 16 armor in total and 7 health compared to mine. That's still 7 health, but that is... That's doable. Could go on, though. I should have taken it before. Oh, wait. Five armor. That's 20 armor. Okay, I'll take that. Then we add another, some extra suffixes, whatever. Those are poison avoidance. That's good. Item quantity, soul chance. I'm happy with that. That is actually better than what I have by a very big margin, actually. So old one goes bye-bye. New one <laughs> gets in there. However, I do want to take a look at some of the grand mobs, but I don't have it. That's not table. What? Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Over here. Ooh, red katana. I kind of want that. I kind of want that because that's... I just got that today. And it looks kind of cool. Not gonna lie. What about the helmet? Can I get something cool for the helmet? I kind of like the crown so I can actually see my face. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that. There we go. Very cool. Just need to get unbreaking on that. Again, requires more emeralds. Uh, hmm. I don't have any XP levels because uh, someone... It, yeah, so, someone did an oopsie and unbreaking there we go nice question is what's the next recipe okay that's pretty decent with that said though ladies and gentlemen i think that this is a pretty lengthy episode and i'm going to go ahead and call it there i think we did some pretty good progress today we ran three vaults one of which we completed we died in one of them but we learned from it uh it used a lot of our gold but that's fine again we learned from it and we got a bunch of stuff we still have a key which we can use hopefully when we find a door we can now make five knowledge stars in total, which is pretty cool. I'll, of course, check the black market every now and then. Maybe we could get an extra one from there. So I kind of have to decide what I want to do now or what I want to unlock next, because that kind of decides what we're going to do in the next episode, whether we're going to start off running new vaults or if we are going to set up third place expansion or something like that. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. But with that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye.